That's our best striker in there. John Byrne just broke his leg out for the season. Bad day. Not good. So yeah, bad news. John Byrne, the one striker that ranks out on this club at this at our level, at a League Two level, just broke his foot in the last match. And like it's like you say, things are going really good, really, really well, until they're not. So probably out for the rest of the season. He was the one striker that ranked out at this level. Our other strikers, uh, and Naya, a couple other people, just don't really, they're, they're, they're at the level below. So kind of trying to figure out what we can do. It's a January trans transfer window is open. I might have a solution and putting on some, well, I'll talk about that in a little bit because our wage budget's tapped out. So all kinds of interesting problems to solve there. But outside of John Byrne breaking his leg, things have been going remarkably well the new our new formation and kind of some tweaks and variations of that um, has been working really really well um, when we last left we played south end who was in first place to a 0-0 tie on the road since then four wins in five matches we did pick up a win against swindon town one to nothing to go on to the next round the fourth round of the fa cup and we'll find out today whether we get newcastle in the premier league or a League One team, most likely Newcastle, but we'll see how that goes. But yeah, even though it was a one to nothing win there, we did have uh, 16 shots to seven. They really didn't threaten. It was pretty good. But if kind of going through these results again, we've yet to give up a goal since we've gone to the 4 1 2 3. And I've actually drifted out of the 4 1 2 3 at home to the 4 3 3 because that seems to provide some pretty good defensive stability and. Um, it hasn't really been given up goals either. So we've got 10 matches in a row without giving up a goal. By far the longest I've gone since FM20 for sure because we just got another achievement that you get this little achievement, park the tank, if you don't give up a goal in 10 matches. So, so far so good. Just to kind of, we beat Ebsfleet. Poor Ebsfleet. <laughs> we've played them four times now. We played them in the EFL Trophy Cup and we beat them two to nothing. Then we had them in that match of the month in the FA Cup first round and we came back and beat them four to three. Then we played the two league games against them. We absolutely throttled them four to nothing. I think we had 13, uh, 13 shots to six. I guess we were more just precise there in that one. Uh, and then we beat them again two to nothing. So four matches, four victories against Ebsfleet United this year. We're kind of really glad they're in the league with us. Then uh, we drew 0-0 against uh, Northampton. This match, we did not look very good in. This is what led me out of that 4-1-2-3 at home into the 4-3-3 to try to generate a little bit more offense. Um, we really struggled there, and I'm not quite sure why. We came back. We bounced back with another win against Ebsfleet, then Swindon Town. Barrow, who's at the bottom of the table, 27 shots to two. Oh, four to nothing victory. Poor Barrow, um, who came up with us, got promoted with us last year. And they are, if I believe, in the relegation zone. So results have been really good up until the time John Byrne broke his leg, which was in the Barrow game. So hopefully we can find a replacement there. And, and now comes the exciting part. Check this out. League table. We sit in 10th place, 40 points. But today is our make, one of our makeup games. We have 25 minutes. We had another game postponed because of a waterlogged field. Apparently our pitch isn't in very good shape. So we've got two matches in hand to most of the teams in front of us. We're playing fifth place Tranmere today in this makeup match. If we win this one, we would have a game in hand, go to 43 points, and we would be ahead of Tranmere on goal differential, which would put us in the playoffs in fifth place. And even better, 43 points, 46 points if we were to win our next match, which put us knocking on the door, if not ahead of Burton Albion in the automatic promotion zone so today's match is huge because it would get us into the playoff zone i mean there's still a long way to go we have 21 matches left in the season so we're just a little bit over halfway so a lot of story left to be told but we're starting to inch up in the standings thanks to this run of uh, kind of solid defense here watch today i'm sure we'll probably give up four goals and lose now that i kind of have been talking about it. i mean a good run has to come to an end sometime so you, you can't worry about that i suppose but yeah so the results and the table are good we'll also find out today if we do get newcastle in the next round, the fourth round of the FA Cup, we won the third round, so we got one hundred fifty-five thousand dollars plus one hundred fifty-five thousand pounds plus um, gate receipts. So I think we're almost we were over seven hundred thousand momentarily there. So today's match will probably put us back over that. Uh, a couple of other things to talk about. Yes, trying to solve the striker problem because we have a striker now. 
we, we're in short in a striker. I found this guy, Jake Scrimshaw, who didn't want to deal with us at all earlier in the year. He was languishing in free agency. Now that it's the middle of the season, the middle transfer window, I approached him and he, he's accepted an offer for 525 pounds per week, which is a really good deal. I love the looks of this guy. Finishing 14, composure 15, technique 10. Uh, I mean, some issues here, crossing isn't very good, dribbling isn't very good, but for, you know, get the guy the ball in front and have him kick it in the net. I think this could work really well as a replacement for John Byrne for the rest of the season. So he's already accepted. I put it on a delay because I wasn't thinking I was going to have enough cash to be able to bring him in. And then John Byrne broke his leg. So the next time he comes to us with an offer to say, to accept, we're going to take him in. That means that we're trying to put a bargain bail, a bargain uh, basement sale. Uh, we've got an agreement for Daniel Ginadu, who, if you've been following the series since the beginning, was our goalkeeper in the first two seasons. Really has been kind of a pain in the butt since then. Lawrence Wooten as well, a very promising young midfielder, but we just don't have room for him. And he doesn't want to go out and loan, and nobody wants him. And we're kind of paying him 500 pounds per week, which I think is way more than he's worth. Uh, he has been accepted. At, uh, the bid's been taken for 2.3 thousand pounds. So I think he's hopefully going to negotiate a contract and be gone too. And a couple other players moving along. So that would create enough wage room to have Jake Scrimshaw. And we need another center. We need another defensive midfielder. This guy, Iker Pozo, was also in that same kind of situation as Scrimshaw, just kind of languishing in the free agent heap here. Looks really solid. I mean, a lot of yellow, but 10s and 11s, 15 marking. Nose ball winning midfielder as a defensive midfielder, which is really nice. Pretty decent physicals. Good Aggression's a little high there, I suppose, but you know, pretty good across the board. So I think definitely worth a chance. And he is also willing to sign at a very, very reasonable 650 pounds per week. So if we get rid of those four guys we can afford to bring these two guys in and i think that will make us a better team so that's the plan lastly before we jump into our match against tranmere i did want to share one thing because i was complaining about players not developing before and since then i've learned a thing straight from si themselves here and i was complaining in particular if we go to the squad here and we look at this you know the development progress i was complaining about how a lot of these arcs and curves were trending down for our players. So I, my interpretation of this was, wow, Stoilakovic is just skyrocketed here. But my impression of this was that by and large, we were training a lot, but our players were getting worse. I've since learned that this graph comes from two things. It's actually a snapshot of your star ratings over time. It has nothing really to do with attribute development, as would appear to be the case because of all the attributes at the bottom of the screen and the fact that the other thing here is an attribute measurement one would assume that progress was some kind of a, a kind of an accumulation of the attribute changes over time but it's not it's just a measurement of the star rating of the player over time and the star rating comes from two things it comes from the relative quality of your player compared to everybody else on your team and then changes due to playing in form or not playing so if a player plays better his star rating is going to go up and that will nudge him up as well so it's got nothing at all to do with the development progress of a player it only shows you a picture of how the player stands in terms of star ability compared to everybody else on your team at the time so uh not the most helpful graph here, but let's leave that soapbox for later. Anyway, so that, that makes me feel a little bit better that maybe our players are getting better. Although, it seems like every time I look at the attributes button, there's not really not much moving going on. You know, tackling nine, it's still nine. I mean, all these players seem to pretty much stay the same. So, I don't know. I guess we'll wait till the end of the season before we freak out about that, though. But that being said, it is time to jump into our match of the month now. And we will be without our best striker, John Burnt. A very unfortunate time for him to get hurt as well, because we do have, we look at our schedule here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, I think all the way until February 3rd, where we have two matches a week. So we really are going to need reinforcements at striker if we hope to keep this up. I don't feel like we can sustain a streak like this without having someone who can kick the ball in the net. But and Naya has done okay, and he's always and he's been kind of slow, steady for us over the past couple. Um, obviously, fantastic last year, and he's been respectable this year. He's got nine goals, so that's not bad. He has he has moments where he just doesn't look very good too. Ryan Clark, by the way, on the left, starting left, has looked really good. I think he's got two goals already and three appearances. He's been really sharp out there. Baron will be on the right wing. Uh, Isaac, Sona, and Kirby are going to play. Going to go with the four three three at home because I feel like that just is a little bit more 
gives a little bit more offense and yet has been holding up pretty well defensively. Then we have literally two lines now of defenders that we've been alternating with these kind of matches that are coming up to a week now. So Stuart, Ogumbo, Stolikovic, and Kise, names you'd be familiar with if you've seen the series before. And then O'Brien, our loner goalkeeper in the net. So that, uh, I think, will get us started here. Let's go to our match. Tranmere sit in fifth place. Uh, so this should be a very good match for us. And let me just add some sound here to my ears. We are favored because of our excellent form, I think, but I'm not sure that really means much. I don't have a good feeling about this one, so I guess, well, fingers crossed. Let's see how it goes. We have had uh, considerable close matches, but when you're not giving up goals, you go 10 matches without giving up a goal, it's been a, a pretty comfortable run on the whole. Let's just press our outsides here. They are going with a 4-1-2-3 as well, or 4-1-4-1, depending on what you want to call it. Let's go to Team Talk. We, have a we had a chance a little while ago to move to playoff spot, and we didn't make it. Let's do, I expect you to keep our run going with this match. And I think there's a lot more to come from you, and I completely believe what it, you've got what it takes, as usual. We are all green. Let's end the Team Talk and kick off. All righty. Didn't check the weather here. We are in our blue and whites on the right side, moving to the left. Tranmere in their purple, heading to our right. And our ball deep in our own den. This is not our best roster, too. We have a, a, I think our other roster is a little bit, our other lineup is a little bit stronger than this. So hopefully we can still have enough about us to get this going here. Not off to the greatest start here. Tranmere looking like they're putting on some early pressure. Let's go, boys. Watch, they're going to score right away. <laughs> Here they are. God! Oh! <laughs> That's too funny. So we go 10 matches without giving up a goal. And then four minutes in. I should have gone with a 4 one 2 3 maybe. God! That's... Well, okay. What can you do? Guy just heated up. Well, adversity builds power. Let's go, man. We got to score anyway. This doesn't feel very good. Now it really doesn't make sense to go into the 4 one 2 3 because we need to score some goals here. Let's get that in there. Oh, how'd that miss? How did that miss off that corner? Let's get some shots going. Wow, one. Oh, Kirby, good. Go again. Kirby, by the way, um, since we put him on central midfielder attack, I think he's got six goals now for us. So he's looked really good. Um, scored quite a bit. Uh, he's, he's shooting more. It, it's been been really good. So he's really helped our offense quite a bit. So I've really liked, outside of the fact that now we're losing one to nothing and we've lost our 10 consecutive matches without giving up a goal. Um, outside of that, um, he's looked really strong. And then uh, Baron on the right wing has looked strong as well. Our team on the whole has looked really good. But obviously this isn't good. And Naya with the ball on the outside. Isaac, oh, off the side netting. Had some good looks since that... Initial bad start. They've only had that one shot, so uh, I feel like I should tell us now. We've got some people melting down. Sona is furious and Isaac is anxious. Let's demand more. That will get them focused. Yes, everybody's focused. Come on, boys. Six shots. We're doing well, except it's not putting the ball on the goal. This looks similar to what we were doing before, except they've been um, rather precise here. God. Waldo. Where is Waldo? He's kicking the ball in our net. God, it seems like this is the second time we get really close to that playoff spot and then this stuff happens. But, well, we were down 2 to nothing in our previous match of the month, so I'm not dead yet. They've had two shots. We've had six. Two shots, two goals. <clears throat> okay, how's our position? 51. This, I probably should have gone with the four one, two, three, and been a little bit more conservative. This is a good team. Come on, boys. Let's get going. Baron to Anaya. Yes, he's in. Uh, Burn would have scored that. Oh, and I hope, hope you didn't hear me there. Come on, we can get this. Let's get one before the half. Let's pause here and crank them up a little bit. Let's do get creative. Again, I still have no idea. I mean, they're inspired, but what attributes go up, what don't go up? God, that's frustrating when you've got two-to-one shot ratio, but 
Expect to see a much. Let's go assertive a little bit. Let's see if we can really crank them up here. There's a lot more to come from you. And I believe you've got what it takes. Completely assertive here. Who's not playing well? Ryan Clark. <laughs> so, yeah, he's been great. Just what I've been saying. Come on, man. Let's keep this going. Playoff spot on the line here. Gah, Kise gets burned. Corner to start us off. We haven't shown anything. I'm... No, we don't... I know what I think. I think we'll go to the... We, we probably should go to the 4... 2, 3, 1 to get more offense here. This is not a good day for us. We completely underestimated them. We really should have gone more defensive, I think. But, oh well. I had a hunch this wasn't going to work. God, we haven't even touched the ball in the second half. Here we go. Come on, Kirby. Get us one here. If we get a goal, we're right back in it. We just need one to start us out. We had nine shots. We should... Ah, oh. God, they're killing us. We're at home. This is embarrassing. Oh, wait. Are we doing the right thing here? Yeah, playing for short pass. Oh, short passes. Sorry. Just wanted to check. I, I seem to always screw up whether we're playing for short passes or not. Guiles. Corners. Blocked. Oof. Nice save by O'Brien. We're going to go 60 minutes and then think about things here. 55. We, we need to change things up here. They are actually playing much better than us in the second half. And our whole midfield is just melting down. Isaac, Stewart, Sona, Sona's furious, very frustrated. Okay, let's see what we can do here. This Nis needs surgery. We're going to bring out the knife. I think we should bring in Phillips. Let's do... We could bring in Phillips at Sona. We need a defensive midfielder. What can Phillips play? Deep line playmaker. That would work. Let's try this. Just because what we're doing isn't working. Let's do that. We'll put Kirby up here at attacking midfielder on support a little bit. We'll put Baron at inverted winger attack. Clark at winger support. Let's try torture because that's not working let's just change everything <laughs> put isaac here sona central midfielder support let's bring in phillips here put him at a deep lying playmaker support and let's go positive now nah, let's go attacking yeah let's really put everything out there and short passes completely different formation everything looks Fine, let's try this little Christmas miracle and see what goes on. Okay, we got... Oh, Goomba, what? He picked up a card after that? Yeah, make changes. Fine. Okay, 60 minutes. Nothing. We're getting nothing. We haven't had a shot in the second half. God! We were so good these last 10 matches. What's happened here? Let's make another sub. 6.3 for Ryan Clark. You're terrible! Oh, Robinson needs time anyway. Let's do that. Inverted winger. Attack. Confirm changes. Play. We can still get a couple goals here. We might need three. Okay. Ah, nothing's working. They're just better than us today. 70 minutes. Kise is injured. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> Delcroy, Stoilo, okay, we got to bring in Delcroy here. He can play ball playing defender. I was trying to save him for the next match too. He'll play fullback support, although he's not. Can he play out there? Yeah, he's heard of the position. He knows what he's doing. That's our last sub already. Confirm changes, play. We haven't had a highlight. Let's go very attacking. Hmm. And let's shout. Push forward. Everything. Charge. Ah, frustrated, anxious. We look terrible. Okay, let's get him here. Right here. Here we go. You never know. We can score two goals in eight minutes for sure. Ogumbo. Nice pass. Good. Forward through. There goes Kirby. He's got it. 
Ah. Not happy. This is a shot. 87 minutes. Gah. Four. <laughs> this was really bad. Ah. Missing burn, maybe. But actually, yeah, Niners played a lot in this streak, too. Come on, Phillips. Let's get one. 30 seconds left. Oh. Wow, Trenmere is good. They we we haven't had a match like this since since we've had that streak start up. Even playing like League One teams. The whistle's gonna blow any second now, right? It's over. Duh. <laughs> Garbage. We did outshoot them, but they had a lot of shots. They had more shots on target. Not a good start to performance was disappointing. I'm not happy with your performance out there. Let's end the team talk. Well then, we stay in 10th place. Tranmere jumps up to the automatic promotion spots. Still, if we could pick up that next one, so say we win the next match that we're down in the hole here, I think it might be one of these teams that have 26 matches. That would still put us in the playoffs. Still a lot of season left. We know we're going we're gonna to lose the match anyway, so we got to stay positive here. That's uh he says injured two to three days not a problem and newcastle yes nice we will have a home match against newcastle united i have heard that sometimes that I, I don't know if it happens under these circumstances but i was reading somewhere on the forums that a larger club will offer to have the match played at their home field and and then give you a greater percentage of the 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 day kind of the receipts from the day so uh maybe Maybe they'll do that, but this is going to be really cool. I don't. I would like to come back for that one, but I know it's going to be like kind of like the Wolves match where we lose by a ton here. So we'll have Newcastle. That will end our FA Cup run in the fourth round. Still, that will be a nice run and coming up in a week or so. So uh, the table. Oh, we sitting here tenth place. Yeah. Okay. What can you do? Bummer. So our ten match streak of unbeaten, of unscored upon, ends with a two to nothing thumping at the hands of Tranmere. I suppose it was due at some point. Uh, going forward, I'm going to play out the rest of this month. Then we'll come into the uh, February here. Probably come back for the Wickham match, maybe in the middle of February. That'll give us one, two, three, four, maybe Cambridge United five more matches or so. Hopeful that we can get in the meantime get a replacement striker back in. Maybe get that other defensive midfielder back in, and hopefully I won't have to play the wrong formation against really strong teams again. But, oh well, such things happen. Thank you so much for coming by. If you've enjoyed the episode, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, please consider subscribing. And thank you, as always, for all the, the comments, supports, ideas, feedback, and inspiration for, uh, for the series as people have been providing over the, the past month or so. So thanks so much. Uh, have a great day, and we'll see you again.